Today is going to be a fun video because we are going to talk all about spring dresses and just the confidence that some of us really need to master when it comes to wearing dresses in the first place. So move over Mary Poppins because the lady is in the house.
fun. So yes, a parasol does not hurt when it comes to confidence in wearing a dress. I'm just kidding. This is just a little prop and we love props when it comes to these dress videos. If you have missed my feminine coats video or I think there was another video that I did with regards to dresses, but um, it's just really fun and I'm always looking for some some way to make them fun. Of course I love sharing with all of you the things that I love, but what I hope that you're gaining from a video like this is just seeing how you can be confident in your own skin and the choices that you make about your wardrobe. And the way to do that for me is to just love what I have and to make sure that everything that I put into my wardrobe is what's authentic to my style. and regardless of what everybody else is doing, it doesn't matter to me. When I walk into a room and I'm the only one wearing a dress and I'm the only one in a pastel color or something like that, in a sea of black and white and, and beige, okay? So this is something that I think so many people, it takes a long time for them to master this because for so long, we are used to really caring about fitting in and um, just the approval of other people. So I want to be that little, little inspiration for you to just be yourself. It doesn't matter if somebody says that you look like a character or you look like this or you look like that. It doesn't matter, okay? Because if you are being you, then that is... Hopefully you're the leading lady in your own life and in, in just your home and anywhere. You are the one that is playing the role in your life. So forget what other people think because none of it matters. All that matters is what you think is. And when you can tap into that, and a lot of times I say, really think back to what you loved as a child. I think that this it's not to say that your style isn't going to mature because hopefully it does, but there are certain things that are within us that are built in us that we like more than other things. And so whether that be colors or textures and just, you know, if you like really heavy fabric or really light and flowy fabric, this is something that a lot of times we identify what we love about something when we are younger. For me, I just loved like the silkiness of fabric and um, I remember playing dress up a lot with my good friend when I was younger and we would just wear these really long flowing dresses and we pretended that we would be out on the prairie or, you know, just all the different things like that. I love the colors that we used and that is what spoke to me. So the dresses that I wear today don't look anything like what I wore when I was playing dress up, but I knew what kind of things I thought were beautiful. And so now when I'm an adult, there are just certain things where I look at it and I think, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is a work of art in a dress. And that is something that I would love to wear. Let me give you this dress for an example. This dress is from the Pretty Dress Company, and I had it in two different patterns before. I had, um, it was a light blue background with pink roses on it, and then a white background with like purples and, and um, coral and just probably pink. It was like a mauve pink rose pattern on it. And I ended up selling those recently because I love the cut of them, but the fabric was a little bit more stiff and didn't have a nice flow or swing to it for me to wear. And that's what I love in a dress. I don't want it to be so stiff. And um, so when I learned that this fabric was like a crepe feeling fabric, and this is a polyester dress, but um, that it had really nice swing to it. I thought that is the perfect dress for me. And so this has been one of my favorites to wear. I mean, I've already worn it several times since I've received it, but it is, a lot of it has to do with fabric. A lot of it has to do with color. Of course, the cut of something. I have um, very similar cuts within my wardrobe of what dresses I like to wear. 
So I would love to challenge you to, if you want to start wearing dresses, they're gonna look completely different from mine, no doubt, um, completely different from somebody else who may wear dresses as well, but I want you to challenge yourself to wear dresses for a week. And if you do this, I would love for you to take pictures and then send them to me in an email, like a week's worth of dresses, because that is what I look forward to sharing with, you, with all of you in my Lady of the House videos. I'm going to have a section dedicated to those of you who are accepting the challenge of wearing dresses for a week. And then also let me know in that email what kind of things you felt when you were wearing them just maybe different compliments that you received all of that i would love to hear about it in your email and my email is always linked in my description box but it's also in the about section and i can't wait to share this inspiration with so many other ladies because i know that many of you since watching my videos have really been inspired to kind of do an overhaul of your wardrobe and not to be just like mine, and that is not my goal at all, to have a bunch of different carbon copies of Nikki around. I just want you to feel beautiful in whatever you're wearing because I think this is what makes the biggest difference, not to follow trends, not to follow trendy colors or anything like that, but colors that you love, fabrics that you love and cuts that you love and all of it to be what you feel is beautiful and that is the key to being confident in whatever you're wearing is that you are good with it that you love it and no matter what season you're in as well whether you know you feel like you don't want to lose a pound or even if you have several to lose i still believe that no matter what you're choosing to put on your body that it should be something that you love because this is what helps us gain confidence in whatever it is that we are wearing it's something that is authentic to us so I really hope that this is helpful for you. Now I'm going to take you through all of these different dresses and just my wardrobe right now and how I have everything set up and especially with the dresses that I shared with you and the things that I've been loving about them and hopefully this is helpful to you in some way. And then I also have a wonderful comment to share with you that really inspired me. So before we get started on the dresses from the video, I wanted to share this with you. I have this dress right here, which is one that I often wear and I love it. Um, it's a tiered dress and then I found this one and I immediately just, like when I was at the store, I love the fabric still. It's something that catches my eye, but it's not my size. However, since I often get questions about this dress, I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll pick this dress up and put it in my Poshmark closet for any of you who want to purchase it. So it's brand new. It is a size 12 and I am going to post this today. So, um, you know, I can send it out, wrap it up and send it out to one of you and hopefully you will love this dress as much as I love when I wear this one. need to be mindful of with this dress though is that it only has an underlay to here and it's not in the upper section. It's not in the bust section. So um, this would need to have a slip under it or a like a camisole, something like that. Definitely a slip and maybe even attach something else on the inside like a lining on the inside would be really nice if it was made for it so it's beautiful it can even be a swimsuit cover-up whatever you would like to use it for and i just thought that you know one of you might want to have this i love the flutter sleeve on it it's very beautiful if i could find it in my size I would probably purchase another one just because I love this fabric so much. This is my wardrobe. When organizing your wardrobe, I highly suggest that you organize it in such a way that you would love to go shopping in it. So I have bins up in the top that I have for selling items and then also just ones that are for off season or that I may take out for a while. That way, um, you know, I can just fit 
this amount in here and then sometimes I like to pull from my bins so that things don't become repetitive too often and I love variety so that works out best for me so as you can see this is all pretty much pastels right now which is what I love for spring and let me share with you a couple of the features that I like about the dresses that I was sharing with you earlier so this dress right here is by the pretty dress company and this is part of this new seasons line and I love the fabric of it because it is very flowy it has pockets in it which I think pretty much all their dresses have pockets in it I love the coverage that it offers and then just all of the details like where it is where it has darting and just the all the little details about it even the way that it swoops down a little bit in the back and how it's not just straight across one of the things that this is great for is like when i have my hair in an updo it doesn't get caught right here so well actually normally it had um one of those hook and eye things on it but this one doesn't but it does have a hidden zipper in it. It is fully lined and it just feels wonderful when you wear it. It's the dress that I'm wearing now in blue, which I really love this one, as I said before, because it just has nice swing to it. The length is perfect for me and I can do all of my daily activities in it. I can clean and bend over and it's just perfect. And then um, even the the v-neck to me is nice just because of where it ends and i like to pair it with a slip that matches that way it's not something that stands out a lot so i have this light blue slip that matches perfectly with it and um, that's great for like when leaning over and stuff because then um, it just keeps it close to the chest. So that's one of the reasons. And for this one, for instance, I would wear a slip that matches this as well. Now I also have this one and I have two of these from the Pretty Dress Company. And of course it, I have it in blue as well, which I didn't put this on because I felt like, you know, it's kind of repetitive. And I've had this one. I got this one last year as well as this one. And I haven't seen them on, on their website for this season, but um, I just love the fact that this is kind of like a half button down and it has the elbow sleeves to it. The cotton fabric that it's made out of is nice and lightweight and it also has a cotton lining underneath. And then it has this tie here. It also has pockets within it and it's just pretty and it rightly so it's it's from the pretty dress company now this one i've shared in the past too this is from etsy and i really like this if if i can find it in colors other colors that i would love i would definitely buy a couple more of these i like the boat neck that it has on it and just the cap sleeves this is perfect for the summertime even the spring and just the way that it lays is really nice. It's not constricting at all. And it has pockets as well. It has um, that hidden zipper that I love so much. And the length is wonderful. Now this green one from Gal Meets Glam is an oldie but goodie to me. And I like to wrap it around the back and tie it. But I also like to wrap it around the back and then to the front. And just tie it over on the side. Because then it doesn't really add bulk to the back but this is a good length as well the fabric is nice and swingy and it has pockets gal meets glam dresses were really what changed my whole wardrobe for me because i realized that there were dresses with all the different attributes of a dress that i would want all the different things like pockets and just the coverage and the way that it moves all of the different things and the colors i just love the colors and some of the patterns that came with them and so i've kind of streamlined my wardrobe since purchasing i went kind of crazy with 
purchasing dresses when I went to all dresses and I've been through several of them and I've figured out which ones were best for me and then I've sold the other ones that just didn't work out well. There may have been little things here and there, but um, overall I have a mix of a lot of Lauren Conrad, Gal Meets Glam, I have the Pretty Dress Company now, um, a lot of other things too. Like I, I do love Antonio Milani dresses, um, but it just has to be the right one, you know. And then now I'm starting to get into Virginia Dare Dress Company. This one I was sent by Rebecca, the owner from Virginia Dare Dress Company, and I actually have another one that is pre-ordered that. It's going to be coming very soon and I just cannot wait for it it's so pretty and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the discount code that I have for all of you because I will be working with her very soon for that I'm going to link that in my description box below if you would like to check out all of her new designs and pre-order yours now would be the perfect time to do that and so I have a lot of multiples within my wardrobe so for instance this green one right here I also have in a darker blue and I also have in this lavender and then like I said this pink one I have in this blue that I'm wearing which is a different blue than any of the other blues within my wardrobe but I am a blue dress lover and so whenever I find Find, you know a, a cut that I really love it's very hard for me to pass it up these ones right here by Lauren Conrad I have multiples of I have it in I think I think I only have it in three designs yes oh no four now I have this one this one this one and this one. As you can see, I'm not afraid to purchase the same style because if it's something that I love the way that it fits on me, I want it in multiple colors, multiple patterns. Now, when I found this one, I fell in love. Actually, I saw this one when I first started purchasing Gal Meets Glam dresses. And I didn't know if it was for me because it adds a lot of bulk up to the top. It has all these ruffles and I just didn't want to feel so overwhelmed on top. But um, when I was looking at it again recently, I was trying to add some more purples and lavenders into my wardrobe. Uh, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. I can tie these because the models were all wearing them open and that's just not a look that I necessarily care for. So um, I just thought, well, it might look a lot different because it is quite a low v-neck. It might look a lot different once it's tied and it really does. It, You can't really see anything through here but I do wear a slip that covers everything I want it to and then just the gathers right here underneath the bust I think adds such a feminine touch to any dress like that and this one does not have pockets in it but it is a beautiful chiffon and just the flowiness to it like I said it's the flow really is my thing so I love how lightweight that is and then it has a wonderful underlay for a skirt you know when the skirts just come halfway like that other dress that I showed you it really makes me want to redo the underlining of it because I think that it just needs to have it all the way to the bottom or else it looks cheap to me and that's how I feel about this one right here I would love to have my seamstress kind of change this for me there are certain things that I would love to change about this dress I would love to make it where it doesn't have this in the center just because I feel that it accentuates the tummy section so if I could do it just like where it's more a line or something like that we can figure out how to close it and then I can have her sew in an under an underlining for the whole dress all the way down to the bottom I think would be most beautiful and when you do that though to me it really needs to be the whole width of the dress it can't just be a really skinny lining I want to have as much flow underneath as you have on the outside of it now I'm going to share a comment that really inspired me. This is from the Simple Swan Everyday Elegance 
from Alicia Woodward, and I'm going to link her blog in my description box below if you're interested in reading more of her writings because she's just a wonderful writer. She says, I have always been a hopeless romantic, but somehow that feeling wasn't translating in all areas of my life. Thinking I was pleasing my husband and others, I wasn't embracing my more feminine, romantic side aesthetically. I woke one day to a house and wardrobe that was perfectly chic and modern, but not really me. Inspired by your series on romanticizing our lives, I realized I was denying what really made my heart sing. I went to the attic to retrieve my floral paintings and dresses, and I bought a few new things. I feel like everything in my life feels more authentic since surrounding myself with more romantic things. My husband actually says he likes the more feminine touches in our house, and he loves my pretty blouses and dresses. Thank you for your inspiration and nudge to, to more fully romanticize my life. Love, Alicia. Thank you so much, Alicia, for writing in. It, as I've said in the past, it always inspires me to hear how whatever it is that I'm sharing, how you're implementing it into your life and just how it's making a difference. And so that means so much to me that you are stepping more into what is authentic to you. And I just wish that so many more of us would do that because it really makes all the difference in our lives. And those things that we shy away from because we fear the judgment or we fear how other people are going to feel about it or we even think that other people wouldn't want this around them i think is completely false because as you can see just with her husband that she feels differently that he feels differently than she thought that he would feel because of this so i really encourage each of you to get more in touch and in tune with that side of yourself because once you do that it will just open up so many different areas for you these are all things that make me feel very confident with my own wardrobe and just Feeling like I have a one and done outfit, it takes away so much of the guesswork and I feel pretty, I feel beautiful and confident. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope that this inspires you to think for yourself, what do you love? What do you think is pretty and beautiful and go that route and then don't worry. Don't worry about what other people think about it. Don't worry about being, you know, standing out a little bit. That's great because you are you. And when you can put color into your wardrobe, if that is something that you've been struggling with, but you want to add it, just think of it as you are going out into the world. You are one of the flowers of the world because that is something that this world needs a little bit more of. So thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye everyone. Stop. Watch out girls. I'm not in the frame. I'm not in the frame. To the music, go.